Remember when earlier this year, people like Justin Bieber, Shakira, and even Neil Young were selling their catalogs? We're talking massive dollars for their music catalog. Well, the company that was buying all of those catalogs, Hypnosis Songs, yeah, try saying that three times in a row. Well, it looks like they might be having a little buyer's remorse. See, that company is actually an investment firm, and they got their money and backing from this company. In short, these catalogs are funded by shareholders. Now imagine when these shareholders found out that the music industry, in fact, is not paying music creators the way that they should. As you can imagine, they're not happy about what's happening to their investment. Projections for the company came in much lower when payouts they were expecting to receive from streaming services came in to be much lower than they expected. Does that sound familiar? With these new adjusted figures, they had to adjust the dividends or stop the dividends that they were paying their shareholders. You can read all about it in the New York Times article that I've been getting all this information from. Is the issue expecting quarterly returns on an art product an unrealistic thing for Wall Street? Because that's pretty much how the major label game works. Or are investors waking up to what music creators have been talking about for over a decade? This new model doesn't work for the music creator and it's not sustainable. What's your opinion? Drop it in the comments.